Hello everybody, I am Tom and you are watching me play Warframe. Today, we're actually going to be doing a build video that I am revisiting from what I did a very long time ago, which is Ash. Uh, the first few build videos I did, I hadn't really got like a formula down of how I wanted to do them, so they're a bit more humble, humble jumble and not as straightforward. So I'm going to redo the first couple I did, not to mention I did them so long ago that people probably haven't even seen them because the vast majority of people who had subscribed to my channel were not subscribed back then. I was down in like my my early two digits of subscribers stage, so I'm going to redo them. Uh, so firstly we have my Ash Prime here. He looks quite nice. I like him a lot. And we'll go into their abilities. So Ash has a bunch of very... Uh, Synergy is probably not the correct word, but his he's themed very well as far as his abilities goes. His passive is he has a bleed effect um, that he will put on enemies to do 25% increased damage and it lasts for 50% longer. Uh, so whenever you do bleed, it just works better. Uh, his first ability is Shuriken. He throws a couple of Shuriken and they go flying out and they hit things. They do damage. It's fine. It's particularly good for getting rid of cameras, actually. It's worth noting. You can throw them at cameras and it'll knock them out in one hit. He has smoke screen, it's invisibility. Um, it's nice. Um, it's worth noting that he has an augment mod that you can use to make your teammates invisible as well, which is actually quite useful. I think he's, aside from Octavia, he's the only one who can actually make your teammates invisible as well, which is nice. He has teleport. You teleport to an enemy. So you just look at an enemy, hit the ability, and you teleport directly to them. And finally, he has blade storm. It's kind of definitely his signature ability. He sends out a bunch of shadow clones, essentially, that will kill a bunch of enemies. So you've got to look at some enemies in your viewfinder and you, you activate this ability and it turns on your finding targets mode. So you look at a bunch of enemies and then when you hit it again, you'll send out your shadow clones and beat them up. It is also worth noting that you can actually join your shadow clones in your big murder spree by using your teleport on one of the enemies that is affected by your four. Um, that'll be more clear when we actually go through it at the moment. But we'll go over the build. Um, I used to have a few more builds for Ash. I don't anymore. This is just the one I use. We have Corrosive Projection to get rid of armor. Power Drifty with a bit of ability strength. Also, a chance to resist knockdown is nice. Uh, Arcane Nullivar, Arcane Ages. That's my go-to when I don't really know what to put on here otherwise. We have Intensify, which gives us ability strength. Streamline for ability efficiency. Stretch for ability range. Fatal Teleport. This is an augment for his teleport, which makes him do a finisher move on an enemy when you teleport to them. And it does 200% extra damage, which is also nice. Um, also, if you kill an enemy, you get 50% of the energy it costs to do the teleport back again. So that's quite nice. We have Prime Continuity for ability duration. Now Reminded for a bunch of duration at the cost of some range. Fleeting XPT, which gets us up to that ability efficiency cap at the cost of a bit of duration. And we have Constitution for a bunch of duration and faster knockdown recovery. So, as you can see here, that puts us at 200% duration, which makes our invisibility last 16 seconds, which is quite nice. Um, efficiency is maxed at 175. Range is pretty much at 100%. We're sitting just, just negative on 97. And strength at 145, which makes Bladestorm, as well as Shuriken, do a reasonable amount of damage. Um, it's worth noting that I have him tasked, or I should say... Uh, well, the best way to do it, paired with a dagger, and the reason I paired him with a dagger is because of Covert Lethality. Um, you get extra finisher damage, and all of the damage on his Blade Storm is finisher damage, so Covert Lethality goes into that and adds a bunch more. For some reason, I don't have my last mod in here. I don't know why, but there we go. Um, otherwise, this is just a condition overload build. Obviously, only, sorry, honestly, it doesn't really matter. The only thing that really matters is Covert Lethality. Um, the rest is just to taste. This is just condition overload build, so 100% status with a bunch of statuses. That's, that's all it is. Um, but, let's get to the test. Um, I'm gonna have to reset this up, so I'll cut and I'll be back in a second. Alright, we're back. So this is level 145 test with my normal test subjects. Uh, first things first, I'll go invisible. Because I don't want to die. Um, we have our one, so we can throw shuriken at people. At level 145, it's not gonna be doing a whole lot of damage. It does, however, set bleed, which is nice to know, I suppose. 
You can see the bleed effect going over on over there. Uh, two, obviously, invisibility. We have our three. I can teleport to someone and do a finisher. Which doesn't quite kill the heavy gunners, but you know. The one downside of my Ash build is the fact that he can die fairly easily. Not a whole lot of survivability there. But you can just be invisible and murder things that way, so that's a thing. Granted, most of the time we're supposed to be invisible. And here is his four. So there's a couple of shadow coins going around there, teleporting, stabbing everything. On low level enemies, his four will just straight murder everything. This build is mainly built around using my fatal teleport to kill enemies. Also, as you can see here, if I use my fatal teleport while my four is going, I'll actually go into the enemies. Uh, I can probably kill this heavy gunner from here. There we go. And there's a few enemies left, apparently. Just fatal teleport them to death. I think they're all dead. Oh, there's one. Now they're all dead. Yes. Uh, so the main way I use this is I run around invisible and use my dagger to kill things. It's pretty much how I use this build for the most part. And if there's a particularly strong enemy, I'll use my three to teleport into them. Um, oddly enough, I don't actually use the four that much on Ash anymore, which is weird because it's kind of like his bread and butter move, or at the very least it used to be, but... I find myself now just kind of running around invisible, occasionally throwing a shuriken at, th at people, otherwise just using my dagger and just hitting my three to teleport and take out the tougher enemies. As you can see there, level 145 heavy gunner. Um, it does about half health on one of the finishes, so use my three on them twice and they die. But that's it. So that's just sort of an updated video for my Ash build. Uh, if you liked the video, please leave a like. If you're not subscribed already, please consider subscribing. And as always, thanks for watching, and I shall see you next time.